Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Beyond. Yes, Palin has been evicted from the Maya system and now he's in the Ark system. And Palin is indeed back. His base of operations in the Ark system at Able Laboratory is now completely online. Now, in-game as a result of this, commanders were greeted by an in-game message to the ship's communication area where Palin stated that he had indeed been evicted and sent away from sent away from is the wrong words i mean let's face it he was forced to leave he jumped aboard the carson spring it got attacked there was a big hubbub in the witch head nebula thargoids were everywhere and he's had to relocate pretty damn quick to able laboratory in the arc system so there you have it and there was the note that came round on the ship's computer able laboratory in the arc system well what you got to ask yourself i think really is is this going to be a running theme and trend? Is Palin going to start bouncing from base to base to base? Is it going to be station to station to station from area to area to area? Is Palin going to retreat more and more out of the outer areas of space into the bubble? He's already travelled 400 light years from Maya towards systems like Lave and Disco. And, and areas like that. That's the general area where he's going, so he's getting back into the core. I mean, the old base, such as it was, I quite liked it. For engineers, Palin was pretty cool. Now, unlocking Palin, that was a task in itself, and the task still remains. Palin will still offer you missions looking for meta alloys. Now, at the moment, that would have changed from Obsidian Orbital all the way into the Ark system. And for those commanders that haven't unlocked Professor Palin, well then, that system remains the same. However, if you're already with Professor Palin, this generally means is that, you know, everything's just moved operations from one location to the other. But will the Thargoids pursue him? Is it only a matter of time? Is this going to be a temporary base? Are we going to see this Thargoid incursion again and again and again? Who knows? So let's take a look inside Able Laboratory, which is Palin's new home. Generally, you've got engineering, as you normally would have, and Palin can engineer your engines up to grade 5. Now, frame shift drives, the good old FSD, will only go to level 3 with Palin, however. Um, if you want any more of that, then you have to go and see Felicity Farsia. Now, for those of you who know about Palin, well, then you should already know about Felicity Farsia because she's way up there on the tree of engineering. Looking at what's available in Able Laboratory, you can see that you've got Universal Carta Graphics, you've got the Crew Lounge, you've got the Commodities Market, and you've got Contacts. You've also got Outfitting, Shipyard, and the Engineer's Workshop with Advanced Maintenance. Looking at the Commodities Market of what you can buy, Hydrogen Fuel and Bio Waste. What can you sell? Well, you can sell anything you bring with you, really. Are you going to get good money for it? Probably not. You can probably get better money for it elsewhere, like with a lot of the engineering bases. So Palin has indeed just turned up, dropped in, and completely changed the dynamic of this one particular system. Um, so again, looking at Universal Carta Graphics, you can drop your data off here and gain some additional um, weight and reputation with Palin by dropping off your cartographic data. If you're in the market for an NPC, then you can go to the crew lounge and hire adequate NPCs for your needs. Now, Able Laboratory was quite well appointed before this change, before good old Professor Palin turning up. There was a wider range of ships, there was interstellar factors. Now you're left with the Sidewinder, mediocre ship, the Hauler, again, beginner ships, Adder, Cobra, Type 6, the Type 9, and that's your lot, mate. However, but you can transfer your ships from other stations directly here, and as a result of that, store your ships. Now, here's the thing. Do you really want to be storing your ships with Professor Palin, given that the Thargoids have found him and have ousted him from his old home, and now here he is in his new home? Well, for me, I'm not going to be storing anything here. I might bring some ships here, do a bit of engineering, but I'm not going to be leaving them here. You don't know what's going to happen and what Frontier is going to bring in. If the Thargoids attack the base and your ships are here, does that mean you lose your ships? If not, that would be a good in-game opportunity. A little bit of danger, you know, for the, the commander who likes his upgrades. So again, looking at fitting out your ship, 
there's a basic array of items that Paling will give you. I mean, yes, these you can fit up with some hard points. Nothing funky there, though. Cannons, fragment cannons, mines, mining tools, missiles, railguns, and torpedoes. And that's at class three. Really what people are interested here is going into the core systems like thrusters and frame shift drives, those sort of areas, which it'll be no surprise Palin does offer. Now, if you need a good cargo rack, I dare say Palin's going to be able to give you a good old cargo rack as well. But anything too funky in the optional internal area of things, you're not going to be able to have. And this is a drastic change, like I say, from how Able Laboratory used to be prior to Palin's residency to what it is now with him being resident here. Now, all that being said, it is what it is. Engineering with Palin is the same. It's the same as what it was. It's the same in-game standard system to engineer your drives or your frameshift drives. Now, for those of you who are currently going through this method, you'll know you'll need things like selenium, something that I'm generally lacking. But that's down to you and how you want to do it. Now, with engineering, if you're on the old way, an old method um, prior to the version three update, then you may you are gonna have to really convert your engines and drives and modules to the new method. Now, you will be downgraded by one um, level, but let's face it, apparently, according to them, the new modifications are gonna be better. And this was all put in place to stop people with their hefty ships and their god rolling. Well, I've generated some modifications here, and you can see I've run out of selenium. But I think it's probably worthwhile taking a moment to check out the Galnet entry that was put in place for Palin and his forced move from the Maya system 400 light years to the Arc system. Now, I don't think we're gonna hear the end of this. Like I mentioned earlier on in the video, I reckon the Thargoids are gonna pursue him. This could be a temporary base. If not, again, missed opportunities by Frontier Developments. But let's play that Galnet article. A new home for Professor Palin. Professor Ishmael Palin has established a permanent base of operations in the ARC system. Aegis Research confirmed the news with a statement from Professor Albert Esro. Having fled the Mayo system, Professor Palin and his staff have installed their equipment at the Planetary Portable Laboratory on ARC 4E. All of the engineering services previously offered by Professor Palin are now available at his new location. His study of meta-alloys and other Thargoid-related materials has also resumed. The megaship Carson Spring, which facilitated an emergency evacuation of the Palin Research Center, has left the ARC system to resume other duties. Enclave established in Witch Head Nebula. Recent reports from the Witch Head Nebula indicate that the Thargoid forces in the region have been defeated. The initial call to arms from Aegis research was met with an overwhelming response from independent pilots, who were able to push back Thargoid incursions from the new human colonies. Admiral Aidan Tanner, chief military liaison for Aegis said, Humanity has achieved a decisive victory in the Witch Head Nebula. Significant numbers of Thargoid vessels were destroyed in the conflict, even as many independent pilots were lost. But the sacrifice of these brave souls was not in vain, for the enemy has been forced to withdraw. While the threat of occasional incursions from Thargoid craft remains, our colonial assets have been firmly established in the region. Professor Albert Esro of Aegis Research looked to the future. The Alliance Empire and Federation have declared that the Witch Head Nebula is now an official enclave of humanity, a region that their joint efforts have enabled them to share equally. But the damage inflicted on our new starports must be repaired before we can harvest the barnacle sites in the area. Independent pilots have already given so much, and for that I am humbled and thankful. And yet, we must ask for one last favor, to support the repair of these starports.
So there you have it. Not only are people being warned in ship or informed in their ship by the communications tab from Palin, if you've unlocked him, where he is. I thought I'd let you know this is where I am now and this is the reason why you've also had a, a Galnet article to fill you in on it that you can play in ship. So Palin's new base, there you have it. Is this going to be the end of the storyline? We don't know. I hope it isn't. I hope he is pursued from system to system to system to system, um, leaving a wake of empty stations. Now, it's going to be interesting at this point if you go back and have a look at Palin's station in the Maya system. Up until his official announcement of being in residence in the Ark system, you could. Um, I haven't gone back to check at the moment. It'd be worthwhile knowing if you still can, if you know the coordinates and if that base is still here, or if indeed that base has resumed normal operations prior to it becoming Palin's base. If you do find out, let me know, put it in the comments. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what's going on. In fact, I may swing around there myself and see what's going on and put a video up. So if you've enjoyed this video, thanks very much. Hit that like and subscribe button. It goes a long way on YouTube these days. And also that notification icon. Let me know you're still there. And I'll let you know when I'm still here and I'm putting more videos of Elite Dangerous and other games on YouTube. Now, like I can say Elite Dangerous has been a little bit slow lately. And these content updates with the Thargoids have been running as a sort of community goal around the Enclave community goal that's currently in progress. However, the thing about Palin does affect most engineers, especially when, go, you know, when engineering dirty drives, for example, and engineering your FSD. Now, Felicity, you'll do your FSD better. Palin's pretty good on the drives as well. Um, he's the man for your cargo racks. Okay. Anyway, so that's been it. Palin's new base. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Ricardo. Like and subscribe if you've already done so. Check out more videos in the series. I'll see you soon. Keep active.